All right, guys, welcome back to um, the next dig, we'll call it. In this one, our goal is to remove the big banana tree you can see here. Um, in order to do that, we are going to have to cut off some old banana leaves that are falling down just to make it a little bit more manageable. Remove uh, a good sized taro here, a medium sized taro out of the ground. And then I think we can tackle the banana itself. Good thing about bananas is they don't have large root systems, but um, the trunk around this guy is is a good 18 inches wide, so I'm sure it's going to weigh a couple hundred pounds. So I've already showed you the buckets, but I'll show you what it's going to go in. Okay, this big bucket here, this is going to be for the taro, and then these guys here, these are 25 gallon buckets, or uh, pots, sorry. So we're going to put the banana into the 25 gallon pot. Being it's, um, we're doing this more for stability than anything. It doesn't have that big of a root system. I'm going to put it in and then it's probably only actually going to be half full of dirt, but it's going to be nice and stable because it'll have a wide bottom to it. Once it's in the pot, we'll probably um, trim off some of the leaves as well. This plant is probably 15 feet or more high. We have to get it into our garage, which has nine foot ceilings for the winter. So there's going to be a little bit of, um, hacking I'm afraid but anyways let's get started so banana leaves cut very easily just a good pair of scissors will um, cut off the banana leaf we've had a few good storms this year so there's looking a little tattered Okay, let's get started on the little one all right so I said it before I'll say it again I'm glad that taros don't have big root systems so these plants they are um, they just came in as giant elephant ear taros uh, they definitely are a good size this is the second year we've had them so I'm going to store them in the pot, half full of dirt. Um, last year I tried st storing just the um, tuber itself, and I found the, the few that I stored with dirt did much better. They're still going to go into the garage, and um, there's very little light down there. A few windows um, in the front doors, and yeah, that's where our koi live for the winter time. That's where all our plants are going to be living for the winter as well. So hopefully. Okay, so I'll finish this up and then we'll move on to the big banana tree. You can tell from um, her height how big this banana tree actually is. It's, um, looking at it here, it looks like it's nearly double her height, if not more. Not short. <clears throat> Alright, so taros, half full, adds to the stability here. And we'll set those off to the side of the camera so we can free up um, space for actually removing this. We had to tie off the Bergmansia. It's tied around the banana tree. So we'll remove that tie first. It just The Bergmansia got too top heavy and actually broke. There's a video on that earlier um, in, the, in the fall of the broken Bergmansia. Can so, I support it while I cut it? Yeah, sure. All right, let's do it. <laughs> Let's 
Yeah, we went crazy this year. We went to blue team on side. So we're digging, prying, it's not moving. <laughs> the roots might be bigger than we were anticipating. I'm just going to show you guys a close up. So there's the trunk and some of the roots down here. From it, there's a shovel beside it. Makes it look pretty small. Anyways, I'll lock you back up here. Put you back in the tripod. Hopefully that set up good. Yeah, that looks good. I don't know. We might have to get behind it. Yeah. Shovel handle just um, broke a little. Yeah. Oh, roots for now. We had to break out, the, bring out the taro before we could um, move any further on the banana. So this is a big taro, and we don't have a pot ready for this one. But um, we'll go find a pot, and at least, as I said, they don't have big root systems. Expecting to do this guy yet? So as I say, these are giant elephant ear taros. I don't know the Latin name. I'm not um, big on Latin names, but they stand as tall as I am. Actually, quite a bit taller than me. I have to reach up to um, to touch the top leaf. So we just got to find a pot for this, and then hopefully we've um, freed up enough around the banana plant that we can dig the shovel in. As I was um, using the shovel and pulling. The handle actually um, made a large crack noise, so I don't know if it has as much strength now as it should. But anyways, find an excitement. Um, the good thing is this usually takes us about an hour or two every um, every six months to bring them in or out. Big one. Really big will be good. Perfect. She's got a really big one now, so. And that one's yeah, about the yeah. same size. Just gonna put big one upside down and then we'll um, work on it again. Work on getting this massive tarot. Where did that pot came from? Big. They're just slugging it. Okay. It's not going that edge if you want it. No. Do you want to get dirty or would you like me to? I'll hold it. Okay. Some order. Is there doors? Damn on doors. We'll need a lot more, but we can uh, throw it over there for now. Okay. All right. So this guy's um too big to actually bring to you now. So we're just gonna throw it off camera. And all right, so just to recap here, we've um, started digging out the red banana, but um, the small root system that I thought it would have was it actually has a huge root system to it. So we almost um, broke a shovel trying to get it out. We've now removed the taros from both sides of it, so hopefully that'll give us a little bit more working room 
we've taken scissors and cut off some of the lower branches to it and yeah we're getting ready to put it into its um, winter pot. All right, so this project is now on hold. <laughs> we have the square one. The square in. Yeah, that'll have to be it. So this little banana tree that um, we so humbly bought a few years ago has now taken out our shovel, trying to get it back out of the ground. Oh, it's turning out to be a little bit more of a project than I thought. We're now switching to the gravel shovel, which won't be nearly as effective, but it's a, we don't have two of the, the dirt shovels there. Gentle now. I think the trouble is there must be a big tap root that goes down, which I haven't been able to see. to um, get a shot of this. All right, I'm a little out of breath here. Just thought I'd uh, bring the camera a little closer so you can see the banana. Its um, roots are still not huge, but they're really in there really well. Um, there's the pot it's gonna go into. It's 25 gallons. There's the broken shovel trying to get this guy out. There's my lovely wife. Remember what I said? Um, she has her own YouTube channel now, <laughs> so um, she'll be doing all kinds of interesting do-it-yourself projects as well. Make sure you check that channel out and um, watch it evolve. We have some fun stuff planned for it. But anyway, so now we're just going to throw this into there. I'm sure that'll be easier said than done. We can't budget. The thing is just, these are the leaves. Look at how full of water it is. This is the inside of the plant in just a small little section of the leaf. 
and water is um one of the heaviest things that you can have to move so this thing is just waterlogged we're gonna cut as much off as we can to, to start with well, I was gonna try to put it up in the pot so that um, we could see it operate at least once but um, judging from this it does doesn't look like that's gonna happen Okay. Well, after my wife gets crushed by the banana, I think it's time for a new small banana next year because this thing is so absolutely heavy that this is all we could do to get it in there with no leaves on it. Holy. Your pot's like a big tree. Holy cow. I did. You did? You did? Yeah. I've never just made out of before. <laughs> well, we'll end it there for now, and um, I'm sure you'll see it again in the, the winter. I'll give you an update on how it's doing. So anyways, hope you like this video. If you want to see more videos like this, unfortunately, we have one more we have to do today, which is removing the Bergmantias. They look crushed. <laughs> <laughs> As always, thanks for watching. <laughs> All right, so here's an update for you already. We couldn't move it. It was just too heavy. The two of us couldn't lift it. So this is our um, banana for the winter. Hopefully it's not the last time you see it, but um, that is the inside of a banana that was too heavy to lift and we couldn't move it. So they say they're, um, they say they're, um, hardy so or durable so we'll see how durable they are this thing is still like a four foot trunk of a tree man anyways hopefully you see it again in the spring